New Blood, this portion of your training will familiarize you with the various vehicles used in combat situations. When used wisely, vehicles may mean the difference between victory and defeat on the field of battle. The first vehicle we will cover is the Mongoose Grav Cycle. Go into your menu by pressing the Start button. Then, go to the tab marked Vehicle. From here, you move through the menu choices to select the Mongoose. Then get the cycle by stepping onto the vehicle station platform. To enter the vehicle, use your jetpack to fly into the seat. The Mongoose is a light, unarmed ground vehicle. It's fast, but hard to keep under control. The vehicle HUD is slightly different from your suit HUD. Underneath your armor condition indicator is another green bar indicating the condition of the vehicle you're in. Below this is a blue bar indicating the vehicle's available boost energy. Use your jet button, R1, to boost. This will increase the speed of your vehicle. Much like armor, the left analog stick will move your vehicle, and the right analog stick controls turning. If you have flares equipped, the triangle button will throw them. Try out the mongoose. I've set a series of waypoints heading to the next vehicle station. Follow them. Okay, you're within range of the next station. Use L1 to jump from the vehicle and make your way towards the station. Okay, go into your vehicle menu and select the Piltdown Transport, then go ahead and get one from the station. of the tribal fleet, capable of carrying a pilot plus four armors. You'll notice it also has a rear-mounted turret. This is automated, so all you have to do is worry about getting your people where they need to be. The Piltdown is pretty slow and sluggish to maneuver. Go ahead and follow the waypoint to the next station. station. Use L1 to jump from the vehicle and make your way towards the station. Now go into your vehicle menu and select the Hammer Bomber. Then head over to the station and get one. serious trouble down on an opponent. Use your fire button to drop bombs. In order to aim, hold the zoom button or R2 to switch to the bomb view. You can practice on the turrets and bunkers on the ground as you make your way to the next station.
change to the next station. Use L1 to jump from the vehicle and make your way towards the station. The Dingo Fighter is a lightly armored single-seat flying vehicle. It's equipped with dual wingtip blasters and is a pretty versatile craft. Use the vehicle menu to select the Dingo now and step on the vehicle pad to get one. Okay, now take the Dingo to the next waypoint. Feel free to try out the blasters. The Dingo can be invaluable as both a support and recon unit. Many cappers use them to get to and from enemy bases quickly. That's it for vehicle training, new blood. Dismissed.